So we often get this question that is scalar school of technology the right fit for me? Now to understand this, we have to understand the current batch profile. Now there are many factors when one looks at a college, right? For example, what are the curriculum and what is the teaching methods? Well, who are the kind of faculty like? Who are the people teaching you? Third is peer excellence, which is what this video is going to focus on. Fourth is campus location. Fifth is the career opportunities after you graduate from that college. You also look at culture, the student life. You look at the credibility of the college. Finally, you also look at the fees, scholarship, the entrance process, etc. Now, like I said, we'll focus on the peers, right? Which is the batch profile. You might have even heard this quote. You are the average of the five people you spend the most amount of time with. So, let me explain what the numbers look like, firstly, for SST. Last year, about 54,000 people started their application process. About 5,000 of them gave the scalar NSET, which is the National Scholarship and Entrance Test. And after uh, two rounds of interviews, about 191 students were selected at about a selection rate of 3%, right? Which is at par with some of the best colleges, not just in India, but also the world, okay? So very high talent density here. Now, but who are the kind of people? Because not everyone is the same. So there are five broad different personas of people studying at Scalar School of Technology. One is tech tinkerers. Now, who, who are these tech tinkerers? 24% of our batch constitutes of that. These are people who already knew some amount of coding. Uh, they had built some projects in the past. They're passionate about technology, uh, uh, already active, right? So that's the first kind. Now, it's important to note that Almost 75% of the rest of the batch knew very little to no coding. Not everyone at SST knew coding from day one. They are selected on the basis of their general aptitude and profile. Okay, that's very important to know. Now, the second persona that we have is of toppers. Now, what do we mean by toppers? These are people who scored, let's say, 96 percentile and above in JE. They've cracked, let's say, a college like an IIT, NIT, Bits Pilani, IISC, maybe like a uh, non-computer science at an IIT uh, but they want to pursue their dream of uh, getting into a good tech company and that's why they've joined Scalar School of Technology as the second kind of persona. The third persona are people that we internally call the JE haters. Now who are the JE haters? It's people who are very bright in school, they're probably all-rounders but they never liked the JE format of testing for organic chemistry, for example. Like, why do I need to buy hard formulas of organic chemistry, right? So that's the question that they ask. Uh, but like, would have like great scores in 12 uh, and, and like a deep desire to learn computer science. So that's a third persona. The fourth persona are what we call people who are disgruntled learners with the ed existing traditional education system. What that means is that they've already enrolled in a BTEC program elsewhere. And they actually drop out of there and then after a year, uh, uh, they join us. So that's the fourth persona. And the fifth persona are people who are global aspirants, meaning that they had earlier applied to like an international university, like a university of Waterloo, uh, uh, Purdue University in the US. But then they decided that if I'm getting good quality education right here in India, why not like not do that and come here in Bangalore and study? So these are the broad five categories of people and like you can see tech tinkerers are 24%, toppers are 28%, JE haters are 35%, uh, disgruntled learners are about 3% and global aspirants are about 4%. Now let me tell you about their educational background. Taking science is not mandatory to pursue uh, uh, studies at Scalar School of Technology. Mathematics is. So what that means is there are people who are from a PCM background and also from a PC background and some are also from commerce backgrounds. Uh, of course, PCM are the majority, 91.7%. Science, which is PCB plus commerce, are about 8.3%. Talking about their class 10th and class 12th average scores, class 10th average score is 91%. Class 12th average score is about 85%. I am happy to share that about 60 students have left offers from an IIT, BITS, IIIT, NIT, IISC, and colleges like Purdue University, University of Waterloo, and University of Texas at Austin. It's very important uh, for y'all to do your own research and speak to students directly who are studying at SST. Now, to enable that, we recently launched a new feature on our website called the Student Directory. You can find it on the website like you can see on the screen. Here, as you can see, you can put like a filter on the state or the city, find students from your state, connect with them on LinkedIn, and where you can ask them questions. All of them are active on LinkedIn.
now uh, this gives you first hand feedback of what's happening on campus how did they approach their decision of joining scalar school of technology now moving on we have people who come from all sort of geographies uh, in fact we're proud to share that uh, uh, tier 1 cities make about 31.6% of our students tier 2 cities make about 28% and the rest 40% come from all across so it's it's very interesting uh, and and we've got students from almost all states in india and uh, to talk about the number of students who got scholarships last year 25% of the batch actually had a scholarship because we believe that financial background should be the last thing that hinders someone from studying computer science at sst now talking about some achievements of our students uh, competitive coding is obviously one place where a lot of the tech tinkerers that i'd spoken about earlier people have uh, taken part and won in some competitions like the ballerina global coding challenge the code chef august long challenge etc there were kids who have built apps 100 plus apps games web apps apis etc have been built by some students hackathons they participated for example someone won a guinness world record by crafting a solar lamp from scratch uh, there are kids who are interested in robotics so they've interned in the national aerospace labs uh, gained some aircraft construction experience uh, etc uh, there are people who've already contributed to open source uh, there are people who are interested in cyber security worked on ethical hacking for remote server access Uh, and there are people who are really interested in entrepreneurship who have created uh, small companies to start off with already now uh, these are some achievements on the on the academic side so of course our students love technology but they they are well rounded as well so we have people who engaged in one drama competitions there are people who have taken part in chess competitions in uh, sports for example there are people who played national football they won rifle championships uh there are people who have taken part in general olympiads etc math olympiads as well right so overall like a quite well rounded batch uh, talking about more recent achievements some students have learned spatial computing that is ar vr and are now building an app for a tech unicorn there is a student who has built an app which lets him play games using hand gestures and another one where one can decode sign language there are a couple of students who are building the bhashini project where they built a language translation tool for the government of india Apart from this students are working on multiple projects for example the drone project there are tools which are built like the price comparison tool or building clones of apps like youtube and dbird real time chat apps and there are couple of students who are already doing internships for brands like zolo and urban company some students have already developed their own apps they are trying to build a small company of their own for example reflection which allows users to pre order their meals enabling faster service and minimizing wait times at the canteen on top of all this there is a lot of interaction with leaders that is there are cxos and ctos who every month come to campus and in the last 8 9 months alone a lot of engineering leaders tech leaders have come to campus for example bhavin turakia who is the co-founder of directai and an indian tech billionaire came here and meaningfully spent time with students there was dr paolo who built this really cool robot moxie that you see on the screen there was amod malviya sir who is the co-founder of odan and ex ceo of flipkart to subhash choudhary who is a cto of dukan there was uh, the geo engineering leadership team which came down to chat with students there was uh, mr balaji who is an engineering leader at google who had come down The best part is that these students are in the first year and are just getting started. Now the reason for sharing all of this with you is that we wanted to give you a flavor of the kind of backgrounds that people come from and what they are doing currently on campus. If you relate with this and this is something that excites you, go ahead and explore uh, Scalar School of Technologies entrance test and if you haven't taken the NSET, go ahead and take it.